Welcome back. Tourism all around the world has been put on hold because of the coronavirus pandemic. But Destination Cleveland has a new campaign to slowly bring visitors back to the North Coast. David Gilbert joins us now to talk about something called Undefeated Cleveland. David, first of all, good morning. Good morning, Wayne. Nice to see you. Good to see you as well, my friend. Hey, talk about how bad we've been hit as far as, uh, you know, our, our income from tourism is concerned, Dave. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's been uh, uh, significant is, is an understatement. Mm. You know, travel and tourism is one of the, over the last seven, eight years, one of the largest growing industries in Northeast Ohio, one of the top employers, about 77,000 people. And, and it took an enormous hit. Um, as much as any industry. I mean, think about restaurants, hotels, yeah. attractions, not just down a little, they're either closed or, or nearly closed. Mm -hmm. um, the good news is it's starting to slowly, we're seeing, you know, where we're, the doors crack to potentially open back up. Okay. And it can be one of the industries that leads us out of this. Hopefully so. Talk about the un undefeated Cleveland. First of all, what's in the, in, in the name, undefeated Cleveland? You know, it's really about, it's really about the resiliency of our community. I mean, it is a hallmark of who Cleveland is. We get knocked down, and we always get back up, and we're going to do the same here. Yeah. Now, I understand that you have a three-phased uh, approach to, to, to getting the hotels and the restaurants and the tourism back where it should be. Talk about that. We do. Most important is, is this first phase, and it's, about, it's really about two things. Okay. One, getting local people and businesses, what can they do, every individual, every business, to commit that to helping move Cleveland forward. Mm -hmm. Individuals will be able to do with the hashtag, my word, my CLE, on what they can do individually. Okay. Businesses, most important is around a sense of safety. So if you're a restaurant, you're an attraction, you will actually make, make a commitment to be what we call clean committed. Okay. It's a set a basic set of guidelines created and approved by the Cleveland Clinic, University Hospitals, Metro Health System, uh, County Health System. They will all post that all over. You'll be able to get on an app mm -hmm. online. If mm -hmm. you want to go to a restaurant, if the Dawson family wants to say, I'm going to eat out, where can I go that I'm going to go to a place that's committed to be safe and clean on a community-wide level, um, uh, they'll be able to do that. And then also, we're going to create and, and um, distribute through those businesses about 300,000 free safety kits. So if you forget your mask, if you forget your, uh, your hand sanitizers, and a set of information you're going to get you're going to get it for you that's the first phase talk about the other two it is the next two when, when we're ready we hope sometime roughly july sometime in august next phase is going to be how do we as a community really start to get out mm -hmm. when we're getting more comfortable staycations how, and we're going to begin promoting that of how you know it all starts at home even travel and tourism is begin with locals getting out first and then finally the last phase is um, research is showing when people travel, they're going to first start traveling, the majority of people, by car mm -hmm. in a shorter distance and mostly to visit friends and family. So we're going to gear up to start promoting that heavily, that, that when, when we're ready to travel, when the community is ready to receive people, we're going to be ready and promote getting people coming back and spending those important needed dollars. Dave Gilbert, thank you very much. Good information this morning as we try to make a comeback, man, in so many areas, uh, tourism being one of them. You guys do a wonderful job, and uh, once again, just good luck to you. Uh, we need to bring visitors back. Those hotels and restaurants need the business. Thank you, my friend. Yes, thank you. Thanks, Wayne. All right. Got to have more on Destination Cleveland and the new tourism campaign on our website, fox8.com.